What's going on, Warriors? It's Coach J. Crazy day today, guys. Listen, I've been taking CMOS and Shilajit together. I've been using CMOS for a little while, but I'm like, yo, I gotta do a video on it to show you guys what it is that I do and why these things help me out and the realizations that I've come to so I can share them with you guys. If it's your first time on the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. I'm a diabetic fitness coach, so I help diabetics to control their blood sugars, uh, burn body fat, and build muscle overall. But I also help with supplement reviews, so if you're interested in supplement reviews, kind of like this one that we're gonna do today, uh, even if you're not a diabetic, you guys can go and hit that subscribe button, smash that bell notification, hit that like button, because I'm gonna be dropping these things like crazy now that it's fucking spring, baby, let's go! Disclaimer, like I always do, guys, this shit ain't gonna mean shit if you guys don't do the, the basic foundational things first. If you're going out eating McDonald's every single day, you're not working out, you're highly stressed, I don't care, this can help out a little bit, but is it really gonna help a lot? Probably not. You gotta do the foundational stuff first, and as long as you do that, then adding things into play can really help the bigger picture. I don't know if you guys ever had sauerkraut, but CMOS literally looks like sauerkraut. Now, the way that I got this right here is I got this in a gel form. To make it in a gel form, it's super simple. You just take the CMOS, you put water in it, you let it sit for a bit, then you blend it up and you've got a gel form. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I'm fucking lazy. I don't wanna sit there and do too much stuff. I got so much stuff on the go. I'd rather have it made. Like a tablespoon of this in the morning, fasted. You can have it on its own, or you go and you blend it up and, and you have this gel-like substance right here and I take a tablespoon amount of that um, every morning sea moss has over 94 vitamins and minerals about 102 vitamins and minerals that our body takes in so we have our essential vitamins and minerals but we also have trace minerals that the body can use and so sea moss is really great at having the essential vitamins and minerals our body can use plus trace minerals so some of the things that I noticed while taking the sea moss was I noticed that I had improved energy I felt like I could concentrate a lot better. Again, as a type one diabetic, for those that don't know, our body doesn't produce insulin, so every time we eat carbohydrates, carbohydrates break down into glucose, and we have to be able to shuttle that glucose into our body cells. Now, if you're not a diabetic, a type one diabetic, screw you. No, I'm just playing, I love you guys. If you're not a type one diabetic, then you guys, uh, mad jealous, I'm not gonna lie, but you guys don't have to take insulin injections. We gotta take needles, we gotta take insulin, all that good stuff, but if you're not a diabetic, then your body will naturally give you insulin when you got carbohydrates in your system to shuttle glucose into your body cells. One thing I noticed on CMOS was that my blood sugars were actually phenomenal. When I was taking the CMOS, I would take this in the morning on an empty stomach, blood sugars were almost perfect. I started scratching my head, I'm like, maybe I reversed type one diabetes. Like, I got, maybe I gotta be the first person on the planet that reversed type one diabetes. And I was like, maybe, you know what, maybe there's another answer to that. So I realized because I was taking the CMOS, I was like, hmm, maybe there was something with the CMOS that I was doing, or there's something in the CMOS that was helping me regulate my blood sugars. For those of us that are not diabetic, What's important is for you to regulate your blood sugars naturally. The problem is, if our bodies are overworked and we're constantly eating foods that are causing our blood sugar to spike and then come down, what ends up happening is over time, your body can become more insulin resistant, leading to things like type two diabetes. Now, it can also lead to things like hunger cravings and things like food addictions, because then we get into issues like the neurotransmitters in our brain that help to regulate how we feel, things like serotonin and things like dopamine. These neurotransmitters, especially like dopamine, are directly part of your brain's pleasure and reward system. So when we eat food, your brain releases a little bit of dopamine to say, hey, we should eat that again. Now. The thing that happens is because of the processed foods that we eat sometimes, you get more of a surge or more of a spike in dopamine, more of a spike in serotonin. That happens a lot faster. These things can lead to, to um, addiction, can lead to things like withdrawal from these foods as well. So when we start consuming the right foods, we take ourselves out of the category of potentially being pre-diabetic or having insulin resistance in the future, but we also help to regulate other things and avoid other diseases down the road, like things like cardiovascular disease, which can be caused by a blood sugar that's too high over time, which can cause damage to the blood vessels as well. So we see there's a cascade of events and diseases that can happen and we're not regulating and balancing our body. So there's actually a soluble fiber in CMOS called carrageenan. Soluble fibers can dissolve in water inside of our body and it creates a gel-like substance in our digestive tract to help to slow slow the release of things like glucose entering our bloodstream. This can help to balance out and regulate our hormones, but also regulate our neurotransmitters a lot better and regulate how we absorb glucose to help avoid things like heavy insulin spikes uh, in our body. Sea moss has about 20 to 30% more carrageenan than other plants, than fruits and vegetables that are out there. I mean, it has more of a powerful hit on a specific soluble fiber. I took this in the morning, fasted, before I would even eat my first meal. And when I would take it at night and I would take it 
prior to going up to bed and even having some food after that, I would notice that my blood sugars were a lot better and more stable in the morning. What happened throughout the day when I would take this on a fasted stomach in the morning as well, I would notice that my blood sugars are a lot more stable throughout the day, which is amazing, especially if you're a diabetic, but even if you're not a diabetic, because it can help your body to slow that release of glucose, slow the release of insulin and all those other hormones that get bounced around all over the place that can cause problems down the road. Another thing that I noticed too is that my skin just felt a little bit brighter. It felt uh, a little bit like I had some life to it. And what's powerful about CMOS too is it's got a lot of different antioxidants in CMOS as well. Antioxidants just help to fight free radical damage in the body. Now when you have antioxidants here, if your body is functioning better, that's going to put you in a better position to have less stress. You have less stress, you carry less fat around your stomach. We have four times the amount of cortisol receptors on our stomach fat. So you have less stress on the body, less cortisol on the body. Stomach fat starts to disappear just by handling stress levels by consuming the right food like CMOS, for example. In our, in our society today, we have such an imbalance between omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. Now we need both of them, but the ratio should be a lot more like a one-to-one -one rather than like a one to a 20, which it is today in our foods with 20 being from the omega-6s and one being from the omega-3. So getting something in like CMOS can help you out with that. Even for insulin sensitivity, CMOS would be really great too. Again, you gotta remember, our body overall, when we're stressed out, when we have inflammation in our body from eating the wrong foods, from not exercising, not letting sunlight come in to get more vitamin D3 into our body, that inflammation can cause more problems down the road. And so when you heal your body by reducing inflammation and feeding it the right stuff, your body can naturally do what it was meant to do to keep things in balance, but also allow you to thrive through what you're doing. So our bodies are natural self-healing mechanisms when we give them the right tools to go to work and keep your body healthy. And so the other thing I want to talk about too, guys, is the shilajit. But shilajit itself is extremely powerful, using Ayurvedic medicine for thousands of years. Again, I always say it, that the West is just a little late to the punch with a lot of stuff, thanks to the pharmaceutical uh, industrial complex which kind of took over a little bit but it got us away from our roots but I'm gonna bring us back I got you guys now what else I noticed guys that I started taking shilajit with the CMOS now guys this is a crazy underrated powerful psychotic combination I had a pea-sized amount of shilajit and there were days I would have it with the the CMOS I just noticed even better regulation of blood sugar I just noticed feeling like I had more energy when I combined the shilajit with the CMOS. The shilajit itself, because it has fulvic acid in it, it can help your body to absorb more vitamins and more minerals from the food that you eat. On top of it too, shilajit itself has about 84 vitamins and minerals, which is amazing too for the body. And so when I combined that, I got the impact of, of the antioxidants and the vitamins and minerals from the shilajit with the fulvic acid to help pull these things together to get more out of the CMOS as well, right? So that's kind of what I'm breaking down in terms of why I noticed the shilajit when I would take it with the CMOS moss really felt like it was it was balancing things out for me even more but anyway shilajit is great um, it can really help in terms of an adaptogen to lower stress levels just help your body's immune sy system function better help your body function better to do things like burn body fat as well uh, over time and again the reason why I say that is because a lot of times when your body is overly stressed, it makes it hard to do things like burn body fat. It makes it hard to do things like build muscle because your body is too busy fighting battles inside of itself to really focus on doing the shit that you want. A lot of times is getting your body ready for the summer or getting your body ready for the spring or looking great. So the first thing that anybody should really do is focus on getting the right things in um, or removing certain things from your life that might be causing you things like stress or anxiety. When we allow ourselves to get to a position where we can burn more body fat, we can feel better overall. And so having supplement, supplements like this can help. 